Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is version management in smartphones. You all know what is version management in the transport organizer playlist. I fully explained the concept of version management. Whenever you are storing a object into the transport request, whenever you release that transport request, SAP maintain a permanent version in that system. Suppose next time you will go for the changes and you will again release the transport request. So SAP will maintain a new version and ideally it should be like this only because if we want to see what was the code at that point of time? So with the help of version, we can check very, very easily. Suppose if I will show you the program. Suppose I will show you one sample program. Suppose this is the program. If I want to check the various versions of this particular program. So how I can check? I will go to utilities. I will go to versions. I will go to version management. Now, if I here at this point of time, two versions are there, version one and version two. If I will go for version one, this version one was the part of this particular transport request. If I will display this particular version, so it will show me the code. What was the code in that particular version? So this was the code in that particular version. After that, suppose new changes came, then I created a new transport request. I released that transport request. Then SAP created the new version and the number of the version is two. Suppose if I will display this particular version. So it will show me the code. What is the code in the version two? This is the code in the version two. If I want to compare the two versions, I can easily, easily compare. You can simply select the two versions and there is the option of compare. So it will show me what is the code change. So this was the first version code and this is the second version code. And whatever the code is changed, it is in the highlighted. It is a very, very useful feature because with the help of this, you can check very easily what is the code change into that particular version. Now the question comes, is version management, can we see the version management for the smartphones? Suppose if I will go for smartphones transaction code, extremely important concept and so many people ask this, how I can track the version management of smartphone. Suppose I will go for any of the smartphone. Suppose I am displaying this smartphone. If I will go for utilities, have you seen? There is no option of version. If version is not there, how, how I can check the version management? So the answer is yes, I cannot go for the version management. I cannot check the version management of the smartphone. But we have so many possibilities. I will let you know those possibilities. Suppose simple example. Now people are saying, okay, version management is not possible. Can I check what are the various transport requests used for that particular smartphone? That is possible. Suppose now I will show you and then I will let you know also how we can go for version management up to a certain level. We will not go for this feature because anyways this feature is not available. But I will let you another alternative how you can best check the comparison of the versions. So firstly, we will see how we can track the transport request of the smartphone. Suppose in the case of program, whenever you are storing a program into the transport request, you can easily, easily check that your program is into which particular transport request through the version management. 
now here in case of smart form there is no concept of version management you cannot track that your smart form is into which particular transport request so how how you can check firstly i will let you know the process suppose i am creating a simple simple smart form suppose blank smart form nothing will be there suppose i will write zsf suppose i will write sample suppose i will write underscore one i am creating this smart form now i will simply simply activate this smart form whenever i will activate i will store into the package yes you need to compulsory save into the package and transport request otherwise you will not be able to check the transport request do not store it as a local i will go for save i will create a transport request yes you must have the knowledge of transport organizer that's why i am not putting this topic in the smart forms playlist because transport organizer playlist is after the smart forms playlist that's why i am putting this topic into additional abap concept playlist so that you have the knowledge of transport organizer then you can come on to this particular topic suppose i will give some description to the transport request suppose i am saying smart form request part i will go for save so my smart form stored into this particular transport request i will go for okay i will activate this smart form now my smart form stored into the transport request now if you want to check that your smart form is into which particular transport request you check you cannot check through version management because there is no option there but in case of program table function module you can easily easily check through version management then here how you can check that your smart form is into which particular transport request so we will go for se03 transaction code this is the transaction code for transport organizer tools tools so i will go to se03 transaction code important concept many times interviewer asks this yes how you can track the various transport request of the smart form because you cannot give the answer that i can track through version management because there is no version management for the smart form now i will simply click on to this find objects in request slash task i will double click now simply simply select this particular check box or you can simply firstly pass i will go to f for help firstly we will see what is the object for the smart form what is the object type of the smart form so i will simply see here it is ssf for anyways i remember but we will just see how i can find here i will put object type ssf ssfo is the object type for the smart form if you are not able to find you can search by short description also suppose if i do not remember i will simply simply put smart so it will show me then i will select you can see we have smart form i will choose this now now the check box is automatically selected now put the name of your smart form which you created now now here our currently our smart form is in modifiable request yes we have not released the request so select this check box also or by default select both if you have not remembered something now i will simply go to execute so it will show me the transport request that my smart form is into which transport request now this is the transport request 
widely widely used concept and many times interviewer asked so this is the way you can check that your smartphone is into which particular transport request suppose i am releasing this transport request i will go to sc09 transaction code yes to understand this you must have the knowledge of transport organizer now this is the request which i created i will release this transport request i will firstly release the sub task this is the release button then i will release the main request so this transport request released now if i will show you this sc03 i will go to back button now if i will execute now it will show the request as released previously we are able to see the request here in the lower half yes now we are able to see here itself also yes so now the request is released previously the status was modified now this request is released now if i will go for further changes in the smartphone yes i have to create a new transport request suppose if i will go to the smartphone suppose i am changing some description suppose i am putting one now i will save now system is not prompting for the system is not taking the previous request because the previous request is released i need to create a new transport request so i will simply click on to create button now i will simply simply give the description suppose i will say smartphone request now i will give two i will go for save i will go for okay so now we have two transport request of the smartphone one is released and one is modifiable so if someone ask you or if you want to track what are the various request of the smartphone who did the last changes at least you can track all these things so what i will do i will go to sc03 transaction i will go for find objects again i will put ssfo this is the smartphone now i will select this checkbox select modifiable also i will go to execute so it will show me one modifiable request one released request this is our released request and it will show you one modifiable request also at least someone can easily easily track what was the last request who created that particular request okay we cannot track the version management version limits what are the various changes done into that particular version but at least we can track the request suppose if i am releasing this transport request suppose now i will release this request also i will display now i will release this transport request also now i will release the main request so i released the second request also now if i will simply go to sc03 it will show me both the request in the release status now you can see we have two request in the release status this is our part 1 part 2 at least we can track who created the last request who did the last changes we cannot track is what the change is done but at least we can track the date time user these all things we can track so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with version management of the smartphone you all know what is version management whenever you are creating a object you are storing into the transport request whenever you will release that transport request there is a permanent version in the system next time whenever you will go for changes to that object whenever you will release the transport request again there is a version and ideally it should be there to track the changes yes we can compare the versions 
and in case of smart form table function module we go for always always words and management widely widely used feature in the projects now question comes in case of smart form can we track the version management answer is no but we can track the transport request what are the various transport request for that particular smart form if someone ask you okay check what is the last transport request for the smart form what is the name of the user who did the last changes at least you should know that we can track the smart we can track the transport request you can go to sc03 transaction code which is for transport organizer tool after going to sc03 transaction code you can simply go to find object pass the object type name of the smart form if the request has not released it might be the case request has not released at that point of time select modifiable it will show you the various transport tickets at least you can connect with that particular user okay you did the last changes what are the various changes you did at least some things you will get the clarity now in the next video i will just go for the guidance that with the help of this approach we can check at least the versions what are the various code changes into that particular version but that is totally it is that is not given by sap but we have some alternative that at least we can track some changes with the help of that so that part i will explain in the next video so that's it in this video thank you